Greetings, parents, alums, all members of our wonderful Dickinson community. I wanted to update you at the end of my first year to talk to you about some of the new programs and some of the new innovations here at Dickinson. It's been a wonderful first year and I'm so grateful to all of you for your warm welcome. I'm impressed by all of our alums and what you're doing with your education and with your lives. So this busy first year, some exciting things are already happening. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the new academic programs that have been established, not just this year, but in the last few years, to make sure you know how innovative Dickinson continues to be. One of the more interesting ones is our quantitative economics major that, of course, combines mathematics to look at these key economic issues that we're all interested in. This new quantitative economics major is also a STEM major, so it's really very innovative. Another new program that was established that's very important to know about is a 3 plus 2 program. Students study for three years at Dickinson and then move into a program in engineering. And we've partnered with some of the best in the country. Columbia University's engineering pro program, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, and Case Western. A few years ago, we established a social innovation and entrepreneurship certificate. Again, a critically important field as we look at new ways to innovate across all sectors of the U.S. economy and internationally. So these are just three examples of some of the very innovative programs at Dickinson. There's a few other important initiatives that we've established this year. We're looking at new programs with the U.S. Army War College. We've established an intercultural initiative to make sure in this difficult time we all understand and can most effectively deal with difference across race, across gender, across political opinion. Dickinson will be a leader in this area. Many of you do know that we've had this long partnership with the U.S. Army War College, where students at the War College work with our unique writing center, our multilingual writing center. We're expanding this program to look at some new, for the first time, graduate programs in peace building, conflict resolution, and humanitarian response. You may have heard that we've also established a bridge program for young people from around the world whose education has been disrupted by conflict, by war, by humanitarian disasters. We have four young women from Nigeria who are the first in that fully funded bridge program. They are doing extremely well. A Dickinson education will propel them forward so eventually they'll go home to be their country's leaders. We'll be looking at young people from other parts of the world because what's better than a Dickinson education for making sure we're creating global leaders? We're emphasizing even more Benjamin Rush's original vision about civic engagement. His words ring true now as they did in 1783 that Dickinson is educating engaged citizens for a new democracy. So there's lots of new innovative programs going on at Dickinson, and I would ask for your help to share the word about these incredible new programs, our interdisciplinary approach, looking at issues of the 21st century. There's a lot of ways all of you can help. It's a challenging time in American higher education, especially for liberal arts colleges. We simply haven't done the work we need to do to explain what it means to have a liberal arts education. So I would ask you, wherever you are in the country and the world, to talk about Dickinson and the great education that you got here and what it's meant for your life and for your career. We've spent a good part of this year drafting a new strategic plan, and we're working all summer to make sure we put that plan into action. One of the key components of that plan is that we're committing to an internship for every student at Dickinson. I'll need your help to help mentor students to find those internships, and for many, to help fund them, whether they're during the summer period or other times during their education here. I'm sure all of you understand how important that practical experience is for our students. There's so many ways members of the Dickinson community can help us at this point. Share your great stories about what Dickinson has meant to you for your career and your life. Help us with those internships, with mentoring, with even supporting them financially. That's very important. And of course, with scholarships to make sure that Dickinson can always be a place where the best and the brightest in the country and the world can get a world-class education. Reach out to me if you have ideas. I'm easy to reach. Send me an email at president at dickinson.edu. It's a 
true privilege to be Dickinson's 29th president, and I look forward to advancing our college even more. Thank you.